the enterprise value or EV in short is equals to the market value of common equity plus the market value of preferred equity and the, plus the market value of debt and minority interests and we minus cash and short-term investments. So enterprise value is what we call the value of the business operations. Now, why do we subtract cash and short-term investments from the market value of equity and debt? Okay, because this will be the net price for the acquisition target if we were to net off cash from debt. So of course, if you take the debt okay and you minus cash okay so the net amount here is what we call net debt so another perspective of enterprise value is that this is the value of the business core operating assets okay so we can you can define this as the value of the company's core operating assets so what do we mean by this uh, core operating assets now let's look at a different perspective here we will first start off with the accounting equation so of course assets is equals to liabilities plus equity okay and we will consider all this from a market value perspective so all these are in market value terms so assets is equals to your non-current assets plus current assets okay and for liabilities you have the non-current liabilities plus current liabilities and then of course equity will just be shareholders equity okay uh, you can have other types of equity like preferred equity okay but we just keep it simple now for non-current assets uh, we have the property plant and equipment and for current assets we have uh, inventories we have uh, cash and short-term investments and then we have the accounts receivable and for non-current liabilities these are long-term debt okay and then for current liabilities we have short-term debt we have uh, accounts payable, we can have accrued expenses, and then uh, plus the shareholders' equity. What I will do now is, uh, of course, I will group the, uh, the terms here so that I will get the enterprise value uh, formula. Okay, I will first uh, have all the debt. Okay, we have the debt, total debt here, plus equity. Okay, and then we have cash here. I will bring it over to the right-hand side. Okay, so we have uh, long-term debt plus short-term debt plus shareholders equity minus cash and then on the left hand side I will have PPE okay property plant equipment plus inventory plus accounts receivable minus accounts payable minus accrued expenses so for this portion okay this is what we call the working capital so the fixed assets okay the, the property plant equipment plus the working capital is equals to our enterprise value okay which is your shareholders equity plus net debt okay and net debt is your total debt minus cash okay so this formula on the right hand side is your enterprise value and what we have on the left hand side here is the value of the company's core operating assets so if someone were to ask you what does enterprise value represent okay it represents the value of the company's core operating assets which excludes uh, cash so of course some people would say that cash can be split into two parts operating and non-operating okay so for this case I'm assuming that all these cash are for non-operating purposes so this could uh, be excess cash that is not used for daily working capital